much for being here. Uh, it is uh, truly a great uh, day in our city hosting uh, our FEMA administrator, Mr. Pete Gann. Uh, we welcome him uh, to the city of New Orleans, and more importantly, we thank FEMA for their continued support of the city of New Orleans. We have Tony Robinson, who has just been boots on the ground, our regional administrator, again, working with uh, my administration hand in hand, and we appreciate uh, Tony being with us as well. We're joined by our executive director of the Sewage and Water Board, Mr. Gassan Corbin, uh, Ramsey Green, who is my deputy CEO of infrastructure, and of course, our public safety team as it relates to Homeland Security. So our director of Homeland Security, Mr. Colin Arnold, uh, joined by Colonel Everett, who is the uh, director of public safety and Homeland Security, and our fearless partner at the state level, uh, Mr. Casey Tingle. Thank you so much for being here, Casey, who is again allows and with our partnership to keep projects moving uh, in the city of New Orleans. Uh, as you know, we're here at Carrollton uh, Plant. We did a tour uh, this, this morning. Uh, we had our hard hats on, of course, our masks on, and we went uh, from the hammer here, our water tower, uh, and visited even uh, one of our, which you can't make it up, we know that we have crumbling uh, infrastructure in the city of New Orleans, and we were able to view uh, one of our uh, pipes that was thoroughly eroded, but still much uh, needed in the city as we move through the infrastructure improvements uh, that are necessary. Now, when we came in over uh, two years ago now, we know that out of that 1.4 billion, there was less than 1% of those dollars spent, which put an added burden on our administration, but again, facing these challenges head on. Did what was necessary to ensure that our partnership with FEMA would not waver as we move through those challenges. And that also meant strengthening the partnership with the state of Louisiana. And Casey has been uh, very much critical to that. And of course, uh, our leader, uh, Governor John Bell Edwards. So far, 32 projects totaling 271 million have gone into construction. 14 projects completed since May of 2018, totaling 72 million. 27 projects have gone into final design, totaling 292 million. Bottom line, right now we have over 300 million in projects in construction, and with a 588 million for 2020. It's because we have to get these projects moving. And it was also critical, as you've heard me say over the months, dealing with COVID. In spite of COVID, we have to ensure that infrastructure projects move. And you heard me say that because they're tied to funding. That is from the federal government and with FEMA. So with that, I'm going to ask our administrator to come forth, share a few words with you. But I'm telling you, his presence speaks volumes. And we were able to not only talk about the work that's going on, but also the work that we continue uh, to need in our city, leveraging these resources as it relates to projects that we want to